Hi there, Capricorn. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers and broadcaster of astrology. First of all, I'd like to thank you for being with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time, because I know it is valuable, so I do appreciate it. At the same time, I would like to ask you to um, show your appreciation for the content that I am providing by liking the video and uh, you know subscribing to the channel. If you're feeling especially generous, you could share as well. Now, uh, my channel is to assist you in evolving mind, body, and soul. Uh, that being said, uh, I have a big focus on career as well. So um, being that I have a, a lot of entrepreneurs that come to look at my channel, I like to try to help us uh, as a collective to progress in career and uh, achieving our highest aspirations. That's important for me because I know it's imp important for us and we show it in our everyday lives. So I'm here for that. Now, um, on my channel, I, I would like for everyone to have their natal chart done. You know, if you don't, that's fine. I would advise you to though. All you need is your time of birth, your date of birth, and your place of birth. You go to cafeastrology.com and uh, you put the information in and it'll tell you exactly where you have certain planets and what positions they are in and how they affect you. If you want to know more about the writer, E. Ray Taronic, you can go to the information below the video and click one of the links. My author page is down there. Or you can go to the About section on YouTube and... Um, all my links, my social media links are there as well. Okay, so that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into the major transits or, or let's hear what the, the season is about and get into the major transits before we do your individual astrology. Aquarius season is here from January 20th through February 18th. The fixed air sign of Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Uranus is the planet of freedom. Uh, science, originality, revolutionary uh, visions, progress. Uh, Aquarians are inquisitive and have a knack for intellectual conversation, but they can also be unpredictable and at, at times aloof. Hence being ruled by Uranus. So expect some surprises, some shocks this go round. okay, during that time. So let's all channel our inner Aquarius this season and exert our independence by being bold and brilliant, um, by exercising our independence. Increasing our humanitarian efforts would be wonderful at this time. We are, uh, you know, we're going through a lot as a country, as a planet. So a helping hand goes a long way. So remember that. And uh, those blessings come back to you definitely when you help out. Um, be sure to network with people that will open you up to new ideas, positive ideas, positive people, positive places and things. You know, Aquarius is all about the experience, but you want to make sure it's a positive experience, right? Nobody wants a negative experience. So, um, you know, stay out of negative environments, basically. Um, Uranus. It's the first planet we're going to go over. Sorry, I need to. I'm, I have to clean these glasses there. Filthy. Uranus is the first planet we're going to go over. Okay, now Uranus is direct. The retrograde is ended. Um, it ended on uh, January 11th uh, to uh, this year. Um, now, it, Taurus reigns over... Uh, Uranus and Taurus reigns over your values, your money, your resources. So all of that is free to progress right now. It's free to move forward right now. Okay. Now it's, it's toggling right now between two and six degrees Taurus, Uranus is. So any, any uh, places in your chart where Taurus is, if it's between two and six degrees, you're going to feel those shifts much greater than the collective. Okay. Um, in addition to that, if you have any houses in Cancer, 
Capricorn or positions in Cancer, Capricorn or Libra, there's an opposition to those signs. So you're going to want to look and see if you have that two to six degrees in those signs as well, Cancer, Capricorn and Libra, to see where the opposition will be, you know, which house they're going to be in, which, which, which part of your chart they're going to be in, where you're going to face that opposition. That's why I say it's important to get your natal chart, okay? Now, um, at the beginning of the month of February, of course, the sun is still in Aquarius, okay? So we're still free thinking. We're still objective. But then it's going to leave and it's going to go into Pisces, which is going to make us more emotional and we're going to um, be less heady then. Mercury, the planet of communication and skills and sales and intellect, it leaves the sign of Capricorn to move into Aquarius on January 31st. Okay, so up to January 31st, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, I'm sorry, from the 31st to the 3rd, we're going to be more objective and free thinking. But then we're gonna jump into Pisces. That's when we're gonna, those emotions will be uh, likely stirred up. The retrograde in Pisces at 12 degrees goes from February 17th to March 10th. Now, of course, we have the shadow period, so I would really say it affects it at least a week before the 17th of February and a week after March 10th to be on the safe side okay, of things. During this time, um, communication could be brought up by insecurities in people, you know? So at this time, I would advise you to be honest with yourself about why things are happening or, or why you're going through, why you're experiencing what you're experiencing, as opposed to putting those insecurities off on others. Okay, so and don't let and don't let people pawn their insecurities or project their insecurities onto you either. You know, you don't deserve that, and neither do they. So let's try not to do that. Uh, during this time because it's definitely a possibility during the mercury retrograde i would avoid signing contracts just because it's the planet of communication skills intellect um sales so and it's retrograde so if it's going back over things past you don't want to go forward if you don't even have the ruler of communication with you you know, to help you out, to, to get your mission accomplished. Um, the retrograde is a time where exes can come back. The retrograde is a time where um, your loved ones can want to rehash that same old fight. Um, the retrograde is a time for reworking things, revising things, redoing things. Okay, it's not a time to jump forward with anything. You want to make sure you have, you know, take care of everything back here before you rush forward and then something breaks down and you have to go all the way back and fix it. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to uh, jump the gun. Okay, so um, Venus, planet of love, pleasure, romance, it enters the cardinal fire sign of Aries at zero degrees on February 7th, and it stays there until March the 7th, March the 4th in Aries. So that whole time you're in this, love is in this fiery competitive sign. Passion can ignite during this time, you know? It can, it can be renewed, your passion can be renewed, Capricorn. So, you know, that it, it be looking out for that for everybody passion can be renewed because i'm talking to the collective right now i'm sorry it's even although this is the capricorn video um during the new moon on february 23rd it's going to be squaring jupiter in capricorn so be on the lookout for temporary shifts and changes in your relationships keep a cool head think things through be honest with yourself and others. That's all you can do. You know, Venus rules finances too. So you can have shifts in relationships where you have business dealings or financial dealings with someone. Contracts. Um, 
you know, uh, your loved ones, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, coworkers, peers, all those relationships across the board. You know, look for those shifts in those relationships. Mars, the planet of energy and challenges, is in Sagittarius up until February 16th. So that we'll, we'll have that fire, that fire to, to get out there and do things. That we'll, the fire will be in our belly. You know, we'll have that gusto um, as a collective because it'll be in that fire sign. Now, when it moves on the 16th to the earth sign, that's when it'll get, um, that's when the boss comes in. You know, that's the time to drive it home. Capricorn actually stays there until the end of March. So it doesn't leave. It stays there to make sure we accomplish those lofty goals we're going out to try to uh, accomplish. Um, it's there to help us. So use that energy, channel that energy. Your motivation is hungry. You know, money is the motivation. We're trying to get out there now and achieve material status, you know, and, uh, and social status. Now, having a strategy is important. Having a plan is important. You want to plan things out when you're doing them. The person with the plan is always better suited and more prepared than the person that's just running out there willy-nilly and doing things and they don't even know why they're doing them, you know? That's when you have to clean up messes, unnecessary messes, when you do things like that, okay? So now's the time to realize the legacy you plan to leave. Just ward against the negative aspects that cancer brings about, uh, Capricorn brings about, like ruthless, being ruthless. You know, you don't want to um, be that kind of person, you know? Nobody likes a bully. So don't do that. Maintain your self-control. As opposed to seeking revenge, do better. Be better, not bitter, okay? You don't have to show out. Uh, or, or, you know, like cause a, an argument or get into it with somebody or retaliate. Just glow up and that'll be enough to burn their biscuits right there. Okay. So now Jupiter, let's go to Jupiter. Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, entered Capricorn on December 2nd, 2019. It's going to remain there until December 18th of this year. Um, it's the time, like I said, to acquire wealth and social status and material status. But did you put in the work during previous transits? If you didn't put in the work, you can't expect to get those blessings. Reaping what you sow can indeed be beneficial, but you gotta put in the work, okay? Um, on February 20th, Jupiter is sextile Neptune aspecting Pisces and Capricorn, okay? So with this sextile, your inspiration can be thriving. Your creativity can be thriving right now. Uh, by the way, a sextile is when uh, two planets are 60 degrees apart, forming a harmonious uh, or a favorable aspect, okay? Uh, angle or favorable aspect. So it's a good thing. You know, use, channel that energy and use that sextile to create something wonderful, you know? Use your inspiration to come up with some new, fresh ideas that's going to launch you out into the stratosphere once you get ready to go in March and, and, and launch it and put it off. Show it to the world. Saturn, the planet of responsibilities, restriction, and reality. We know that it's been in uh, certain areas of our house affecting them for the past two years. Now that Jupiter's there, joined with them, it makes it a little easier. I'm not going to go over how it's going to affect every sign because I've done that in my December newsletter, which you can find on Facebook under my author page, E. Ray Taronic. Scroll up. There's less posts on that page, and you can get to the December um, newsletter. By the way, if you wanted to subscribe to the newsletter, just leave your email in the comment section below or um, send it to my messenger through Facebook. Um, and I'll add you to the list so that you get it, so that you get the literary bliss as well as these horoscopes. Now, um, you can also get it if you go to YouTube, My one of my very first videos, I believe it's the second video I, I ever uploaded. It's like 33 minutes. When I do the planetary transits, I tell you how it affect, Jupiter is gonna be affecting that and that, that Capricorn-Jupiter um, conjunction. 
is going to be affecting you um, each sign. Now, we have two moons this month, of course. We have the, uh, the full moon on the uh, 9th. It's called the snow moon. Um, Native Americans call it the hunger moon or the storm moon. Um, so it's in the fire sign of Leo. Um, the new moon on the 23rd is in the mutable water sign of Pisces. Okay, things can be illuminated during that time that's gonna stir up some emotions, definitely. So look out for that. So don't go drinking or anything, alcohol during that time. I ward against that because, um, you know, especially with that being in Pisces, it's gonna, it can get really emotional and you know where emotions can take you to places where you not, don't necessarily want to go, especially when alcohol is involved. So try not to give in to those toxic vices during that uh, full moon or that new moon or that new moon. Yeah, the Pisces one especially. Now, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get into your individual astrology, okay? So, first of all, some solitude is on the menu for you during the first week of February because you've been in close quarters with people. You've been working with people and things like that. Now it's kind of time, you know, and it's okay to duck your head and your chill a little bit so you can get grounded, so you can focus on what you need to do. You need rest so that you can gain clarity and you can balance out um, you know, everything that's happened so far and your emotions with what's going on with uh, the now and the past, okay? Because in a minute on February 16th um, until the end of next month, that's when Mars will be there. You know, your, your Capricorn will be in, Mar Mars will be in Capricorn. So you're fired up again, you know, <laughs> you're raring to go again, <laughs> but keep it cool. Calm it down just a little bit, okay? <laughs> Um, as I told Sagittarius, ward against being aggressive and argumentative. If people do not have your best interests at heart, cut ties with them. If people are jealous of you and you know that they're doing things to spite you and saying things to spite you, cut ties with them. You don't need that kind of trouble. You don't need that kind of aggravation. Be honest with yourself. Channel the Mars energy to get things done with patience and determination. Okay? Doing things yourself as opposed to depending on other people will, um, you know, possibly keep down that nasty temperament, too, because you don't have to deal with them at all. You just do it. Um, focus on what you want to accomplish and don't allow others' expectations to hold you back. You're working on by your expectations, not others, okay? Um, don't let it hold you back from your desires, from what you really want to do. Think about what you really want out of life. That's what you want to go for, not what people expect you to be going for, okay? Listen to that inner inner Capricorn. That's why at the beginning of the month, you should calm it down and take some time to rethink things, okay? During that retrograde as well. Now, the position of the sun in Aquarius, along with the Mercury uh, retrograde, um, which the Mercury retrograde rules communication skills, sales, uh, intellect, things like that. From February 17th to March the 10th, and even a week before and a week after it ends, um, it impacts your second house of money, your possessions, your resources, along with your third house of communication and siblings. So these areas will be revisited. Focus on the things that need to be revised, rehashed, to bring more clarity and allow you to move forward with less stress in your life. You don't need more stress. You need less stress, okay? So you want to move forward with clarity. And remember, your money is on your mind. You're going to get communication about money coming in. Some things may need to be reworked, whether you need to look at taxes, whether you need to go back and uh, revise any plans. You want to go, go ahead and do that during that time, okay? Okay. Well, this is the end of the astrology for Capricorn. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll see you next month, Capricorn. Bye.